Hello everyone. Back again with film recaps. In this video, I'm going to recap one of a horror thriller films from 2020, titled Caveat. Before we get to the storyline, I'd like to wish everyone a happy and great day. Without further ado, let's get straight to the storyline. The film opens with a young woman named Olga, who is roaming about an old, abandoned home. She seems to be looking around the house for something. As soon as she walks into a room, she begins pointing a rabbit doll holding a drum in every direction. And then this happens. The creepy bunny doll plays the drums as she points it at the basement, as it senses something in the room just like a ghost detector. Listening to the bunny, she heads downstairs, with the bunny's drumming leading her to a wall. Curious, Olga creates a small hole in the wall with a small saw she found in the basement, and witnesses an unforgettable sight. The next scene features the young woman's uncle, Barrett, who has come to his old friend Isaac for help. Isaac suffers from amnesia after an accident, and therefore doesn't remember who Barrett was. Regardless, he listens as Barrett explains that he needs someone to babysit his niece, who turns out to be Olga, because her father committed suicide, and her mother went missing. So 200 a day. I can't imagine you'll be there for more than five days. Long story short, when they get to the lake, Isaac finds out that Olga's house is located in a small island in the middle of a lake. Although Isaac doesn't know how to swim, Barrett still urges Isaac to go to the house, and they use a boat to get there. Isaac reluctantly takes the job that will pay him $200 a day, because he's short on money at the moment. As Isaac and Barrett the uncle arrive, we learn that the location is very remote, and it is the only house on the island. According to Barrett, Olga doesn't let anyone enter her bedroom, especially at night, because she's mentally troubled and is scared she'll get attacked. To add, Olga also has a condition that puts her in a catatonic state every once in a while. While in this state, she stays completely still. Can you hear us? Afterwards, Isaac is shown a set of long chains with a harness, and gets told to put it on by Barrett. Barrett insists that this is a requirement for this job to make sure Isaac doesn't enter Olga's room, because the chain would enable him to reach every part of the house except for Olga's room. Obviously, Isaac finds this very weird and initially refuses to put it on, but as he needs this job, he relents. After Uncle Barrett leaves, Isaac takes his time to explore the massive house, and learns that the chain stems from the basement. He tries to use the bathroom, but the length of the chains on his harness doesn't allow him to. As he walks around some more, he finds a dog in the yard. Bored, he takes a chair and sits in front of the dog, while feeding it some snacks. But unbeknownst to him, the lights suddenly turn off behind him. His chain gets pulled, causing him to venture the hallway in confusion. Here is when the intercom starts buzzing, so he goes to check on Olga just in case she called for him. However, she's still in catatonic state. At night, he goes to bed, but a thud behind him wakes him up. It's coming from a scary painting on the wall, which creeps him out, so he decides to flip it. But not long after. He finds that the painting facing him again. As this is beyond weird, he flips it once more and sleeps facing it. Later that night, he's woken up by the sound of the painting as falling to the ground. After he picks it up out of curiosity, he notices that the lady's eyes enlarge, and hears a lady's voice whispering him to come closer. Not being able to go to sleep, he begins exploring the house again. This time, he finds a bunny toy inside a case and takes it out. All of the sudden, he hears a series of screams, followed by Olga walking in with a crossbow. She tells him not to panic, because it's just wild foxes that her dad used to hunt. The two then converse for the first time, during which Olga shares that her father committed suicide because he had claustrophobia. He died because he was locked in the basement and he couldn't stand it, therefore he shot himself with an arrow. According to Olga, when her father was alive, he was kept in the harness by her crazy mother, and when he asked for the key, the mother swallowed it. After the prank happened, Olga's mother disappeared, and her father committed suicide after being trapped in the basement. After the morbid story, Olga leaves the room, while Isaac sits alone in front of the bunny. But then, it starts drumming. Hello? Meanwhile, the door to the basement opens behind him, 
as the bunny starts drumming furiously. When he turns around, he sees the door open, and calls for Olga to check if she's there, but hears no answer. And when he comes to investigate, he sees light coming from the basement, so he starts heading down. In the basement, he finds the root of his harness, and a hole in the wall that we saw Olga carve in the beginning of the movie. But when he shines a flashlight to see inside. He is shocked to see Olga's mother's dead body there, with an arrow stuck in her chest. And given that he saw Olga carrying a crossbow earlier, he strongly suspects that Olga is the culprit. And so, he returns upstairs to Olga's room, and luckily finds her in catatonic state again. Since the only phone in the house is in Olga's room, he's unable to go inside due to the harness. Despite this, he gets crafty and reaches for the phone through a small vent hole on the wall. He then calls Barrett the uncle to tell him about the dead body of the mother, and how Olga must have killed her and hit her in the basement. After hearing this, the uncle says he'll take care of Isaac in the situation. For the meantime, Isaac decides to lock Olga in her room out of fear. And later on, a confused Olga communicates through the intercom, asking why she's locked inside. Hence, Isaac admits to the body discovery and how he thinks Olga did it, to which Olga swears that she didn't kill the mother, the father and uncle did. Interested by what she has to say, he goes to confront her. Apparently, Olga found her mother's body and told her uncle about it, and surprisingly, her uncle immediately confessed to killing Olga's mother together with Olga's father due to her insanity. Olga also decided against calling the police, because she didn't want her father to be remembered as the killer of his own wife. Not only that, according to Uncle Barrett, before the accident that caused Isaac to lose his memory, Isaac had been to this house in the past. Back then, he was sent by Uncle Barrett to lock Olga's father in the basement, and thus resulting in the suicide. Isaac is mortified to hear this and doesn't believe he's capable of such thing. He wants to call the police to let them know about the dead body he found, but for some reason, Olga won't let him. Giving in, they agree to call Uncle Barrett together, to confirm whether it's true that Isaac came here before and locked the father in the basement. To Isaac's shock, Uncle Barrett confirms the story. The uncle then has a private phone call with Olga, wherein he tells her to not let Isaac leave. This scares Isaac, so he immediately locks Olga in her room again. Right away, he tries to break free from his harness, but he couldn't. He then tries to look for another solution. He peeks through the vent hole, and sees the key to his harness in Olga's room. However, when he reaches for it, Olga breaks his fingers. In pain, he retreats to the dining room, and realigns his bones. There he sees pictures of the mother, and discovers that the mother wears the harness key as a necklace. He then goes to the basement, only to find that the key is still there, meaning that Olga lied about the mother swallowing the key. Isaac manages to grab the spare keys for the harness, and escapes. But suddenly, the lights go out, forcing Isaac to find his way around with a flashlight. It is at this moment that he hears an ominous scream in the basement. Despite this, he finds his way back up the main floor, where he runs into Olga in her catatonic state again. He then picks up her crossbow, and puts the harness on her. Up next, he goes to Olga's room, and discovers that the phone line severed. Conveniently, he begins to have a flashback of a conversation between him and Uncle Barrett, from when the uncle hired him to lock the dad in the basement. Now that he's starting to remember, he breaks down and cries himself to sleep. When he wakes up, he goes to the bathroom to freshen up. But then, we witness Olga retrieve the crossbow from the room, and shoot him, but only manages to hit his ear. As she recharges the arrow, Isaac closes the door to keep himself safe. Sometime later, he carefully comes out of hiding, and sees that Olga is gone. As he gets closer to the drawer, Olga shoots him, and the crossbow bolt impales Isaac's leg. He quickly retreats to the bathroom, before he passes out from the pain. We now see a flashback to the last time Isaac visited the house, no one appeared to be home that day, and he's preparing for Barrett's job. Here we see Isaac take a black book, and started writing a note for the dad, aka Barrett's brother. A laughter coming from the basement interrupts him, so he goes to investigate. Oddly enough, he finds the basement door locked, so he unlocks it and heads down. Inside the basement, he sees the crossbow, and as he investigates further, he finds the dad all bloody, prompting him to run away in fear. We then skip to two days later, where Barrett visits him and says that he just finished arranging a funeral for the dad, who he found dead in the basement. Confused, 
Isaac points out to Barrett that the dad was already stuck in the basement when he got to the house, so the question is, who locked him in the basement? Being the shady man he is, Barrett dodges the allegations, and handed Isaac a wad of cash. Isaac refused the money, saying that the job was already done before he got there, and so, Barrett leaves with the money. Thinking that Isaac would reveal his wrongdoing, Barrett comes back later that night. He snuck into Isaac's apartment and pushed him down the balcony, resulting in his amnesia. Back to the present, Isaac wakes up in the bathroom, and trims the arrow with pliers so he could move easier. Afterwards, he puts on some clothes to keep warm, and discovers a small door in the bathroom. After finding hidden passageway inside, he squeezes in and starts to crawl his way through to get away from Olga. The ghost of the mother appears when Isaac is not looking, and our oblivious protagonist eventually makes it to the end of the hall, which is the space behind the wall where the mother's dead body is. He finds a tiny saw, and uses it to carve a bigger hole for him to exit through. After sawing for a while, he notices that Olga's mother's corpse moved its head. Creeped out by the mother, he covers the mother's face with his winter hat. But the next time he looks in her direction. And then suddenly, the monkey toy starts drumming, and Olga enters the basement. She takes an arrow from the dead mom, right before Uncle Barrett arrives. He then scolds Olga into submission, because apparently, he's an abusive man who's been messing up Olga's family this entire time. Out of suspicion, Uncle Barrett looks through the hole in the wall, and sees Isaac. But before he could do anything, Olga shoots her uncle in the back, and locks him in the basement because she's had enough of his crap. Uncle Barrett then convinces Isaac to come out, and work together to face Olga. But in truth, Barrett is holding a log and is getting ready to bash Isaac's head in. Barrett sees the saw moving, but then hears Isaac speak through the intercom upstairs, leaving us wondering who the hell is behind the wall after all. The atmosphere then changes abruptly to silence, and to Barrett's surprise, the one behind the wall is the mother's ghost, who has come to kill him. <laughs> Meanwhile, Isaac makes it to safety by escaping through the chimney, and frees the dog on his way out. The movie ends with Olga finding him, the two stare at each other with Olga still restrained by the harness, and what happens next is unknown. Okay guys, that's all the recap of Caveat 2020. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.